This is me, Gox, just right after finishing my first life-size self-portrait some weeks ago. I was pretty chill looking at the final result when I suddenly started receiving a lot of DMs on Instagram. So I grabbed my phone, opened Instagram and I saw what it was all about. Absolutely all of the messages I got were from people asking me to do another drawing tutorial. Do So I think it's pretty clear what this video is going to be about. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to draw characters like a pro uh, for the fourth time. First, planning. This is the most important part of the process since it's where you're going to come up with ideas for your final drawing. And you don't need anything fancy to do this. Just grab a delicious pencil, an eraser, a sketchbook, your phone, and you're good to go. My brudas, let's do it. Oh, f yeah. And I've been trying to come up with an idea for my character, but I can't quite figure it out. But it's don't worry, jam. that's why we have our phone for. It's the light coming through. Whenever I don't know what to draw, I usually go to Pinterest to get some inspiration from pictures of people wearing crazy outfits or other artist art. And I think I've already got an idea, so let's start working on it. Come on. In this stage of the character design process, don't focus on making your sketches look good. Just draw random things until you come up with something you like. Okay, I've just finished my sketches and I think they look pretty good, to be honest. But I can only choose one for my big drawing, so I'm going to go for the one with the guitar. Now it's time for the second part. For my more serious projects like this one, I use Bristol paper. But this shit is way too big, so let's make it a bit smaller. Hey, that. That little red dress in the little heels. Oh, yeah! Much better. Now it's time to start sketching. And remember, always start with basic shapes and then you can add detail. And as always, for the shoes I'm going to use mine as reference. My brudas, my sketch is finally done and I think it looks pretty fresh. So now we can carry on with the third and my favorite step. The first thing you have to do if you want your sexy lines to look good is to put on your favorite pair of crocs and socks. This will help you to gain confidence and feel better while working on them. But before you start thinking, you raise your sketch gently to get cleaner results. But make sure you're still able to see it after doing this. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's do it. Mi amor, recuerdas? Bailaba sin descanso, sangre y besos, gritando libertad. We were two young lovers, we had. Okay, my baselines are almost done, but I'm supposed to go to sleep at 7 and it's already 2 a.m. So let's brush my teeth and let's go to sleep. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, it's already tomorrow and I'm hungry as yeah. So before I continue, let's get something to eat. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, my Roborock S7 will clean this up for me. And not just that, it also cleaned these muddy dog footprints, dried on coffee stains and even dry mustard. This little guy right here uses sonic technology to scrub floor up to 3000 times per minute. And let's face it, that's more than me and you are capable of doing. 
On top of that, the intelligent mop lifts when a carpet is detected, so you can mop hard floors and vacuum carpets in a single clean. Roborock's new old rubber brush is a beast. More durable, more efficient, and honestly, it looks pretty cool. And this epic robot is also more intelligent than me. It creates a map of your home and it's able to identify rooms across up to four levels. But what if I don't want it to clean right here? Don't worry, you can set no-go zones using the Roborock app. This will create invisible walls to limit access to areas and furniture you want to protect. Like my brother Bob Ross right here. Hey Roborock, start cleaning. Holy shit, voice control? Of course, Amazon Alexa, Google Home and Siri shortcuts let you control your robot with the power of your voice. And once it's done it will return to its charging dock to get ready for another cleaning session. So what are you waiting for? Go to the link in the description and check out the Roborock S7 for yourself. I promise you won't regret it. Thank you Roborock for sponsoring this video. Oof, now that my room is clean it's time to turn my lines into sexy lines. This will add more depth to your drawing and it's very easy to do. Just make the lines thicker in the parts in the foreground and thinner in the parts in the background. The thickness is totally up to you. My sexy lines are done and they look pretty smooth. So now it's time to work on the longest part of the process. A one, two, three, four. To do this I'm going to use my beloved Copic markers. Except from the green ones. Those belong to the trash can. Oh yeah! And remember that eyes are not pure white, so add really pale pink and yellow to give them more depth. I gotta be a little more discreet. Oh, I don't know what colors to use for the shirt, but I have a blurry memory that might help me. Okay, so let's go for brown, yellow and purple for the shirt and red for the guitar. Before adding the folds to the clothes, I like to place them using a pencil. This will help you to see them more clearly, making the whole process much easier. And clothes are done, so now let's color the shoes using the same method. My brudas, after long hours of working on this one, it's finally done. But don't forget to add some finishing touches with a white gel pen. Enjoy the reveal. Bye.